Well, a local legend known uh, for selling roses all over Tulsa is now trying his hand at doing some artwork. Mad Dog was attacked and severely beaten in February. News on Six's Ashland Brothers went to his art show tonight and joins us with how he's doing. Ashland? Well, Laurie and Craig, Mad Dog tells me, don't worry, he's still selling roses in addition to his artwork. After the attack, painting was therapeutic for him. By Lady Rose. By your Lady Rose, yeah. If you're on Tulsa time long enough, you might just meet Mad Dog with his bucket of roses. When I first met my wife, I gave her a red rose. She loved it. Then we got married, had kids. But before he was the rose guy, he was a kickboxer. Every time I got in the ring, I barked like a pit bull. And they all said, hey, Mad Dog, that's a good name for you. I said, okay, we'll go with that. Mad Dog, I like that. The kickboxer. <laughs> Mad dog in the house. The rose guy. You see, I love roses. And I'm a rose guy. I sell roses and uh, I paint roses all day long. Now, the painter. There ain't nothing I don't do. I met him when I turned 21. Um, coming into the Buccaneer Bar in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, was Mad Dog with a set of roses. They were friends instantly. Christopher Mantle says one day he saw one of Mad Dog's sketches. And I said, Mad Dog, you know, you should probably paint some roses and that way they won't die. In February, Tulsa police say Mad Dog was assaulted outside of a gas station on Brookside. Shoulders, uh, cracked rib, uh, fractured ribs, uh, busted kneecap, what he kept pounding me. He's mostly recovered from his beating, and tonight was his first art show since the attack. Hey, I got love in my heart for everyone. And you see, I got paintings for everyone. Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.